Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with zoo tours <laughs> and today we are touring a zoo um, which is you know the best zoo on the entire uh, workshop because obviously it is one of my own. Today we are touring my mini zoo which I made for a contest by Ravenscar Gaming. The video where I explain that and everything will be uh, linked down below so check that out. It's also the video of the making of this zoo so do make sure you check it out. And um, well guys have fun with this amazingly themed arctic style petting zoo zoo it is a mini zoo so beware there's still a lot in here well hello everybody and welcome back to the actual zoo tour today we're in the arctic zoo which was um, made by myself as i already mentioned so here we are and we are in this beautiful entrance place obviously it's my own zoo so i'm going to talk it up a bit i mean looking behind us we can see we have guests out there that are freezing because it's snowing here we have star facilities and behind here is actually the penguin habitat, but we'll come to that later. So you walk in here, then you obviously can get your tickets here. And it's lovely decorated, even if I say so myself. You can buy your zoo tours with a heater, of course, in case you're cold. You buy your tickets, so let's buy tickets. And then I just came to the realization how big this actually is. Uh, wow. <laughs> obviously, if you need some cash, you can get it there or there. It's nice in the way. So here we have our stuff only thing, um, because I created this zoo, we are allowed to get in here, so don't worry, so we're just gonna get in here. See, oh, it's snowing. So you can see that we also have a monorail, and we have our staff facilities, which are actually really nice, even if I say so myself, I quite like it. And they have like connected roofs, it's really, you know, cleverly built. So let's quickly get back here, because we're actually not supposed to be here, so let's just get back. There, you can see here one of the trees that I sunk it in. It is a very um, excited tree. It loves to move. And then here we have Arctic toilets, which actually lit up really nice during the night. But I will show you guys that in the uh, in the end. And here you go through, and then we actually have exhibits. And um, the downside is that the exhibits are only there aren't any Arctic exhibits, which really sucks. That's why we have like this frog and this little turtle turtle in here. Uh, the terrapin one because you know i built this for a, a competition and for this competition you needed four um exhibit animals so i picked four and that really sucks because i was really hoping for some arctic animals anyways oh they must be freezing look at that look here we have a lovely big christmas tree it's really big and then we have our first uh habitat which is the doll sheep oh, you can see it's climbing now i personally love the doll sheep I feel like doll sheep are really amazing. Oh, you can drink here. And I'm just gonna give you guys an overlook view of this uh, habitat I built. So the theme of this zoo was an Arctic petting zoo. Um, if you've seen the build video of this, which I believe has come out last week, if I remember correctly, not quite sure. Uh, you saw that I built an Arctic petting zoo. So all these pieces, like this is a fence, you know, obviously. And it actually prevents the animals from going over, which is kind of weird because they like jumping and everything, but they can't go over here. So, you know. Oh, look, they're actually standing here. On the snowy rocks. Ah, uh, really nice. This would be a cool screenshot. There. Ah, uh, it walked away. Darn it. Oh, well. Anyways. So we have this entire habitat was built, you know, out of rocks and foliage just to make sure that they have this nice area where they can climb in since that's really important. And for once, I didn't build a waterfall. I do have, a, you know, water they can drink, but I didn't build a waterfall, which is rare because I usually do that. And we have these uh, things, like these fences. Those are actually the same ones on which I uh, used here on the entire main building, which, uh, by the way, I'm going to show you guys the main building from the top. I love the main building. It looks so cute. It's like this entire bit. And I really, really love it. So quickly back to our habitat. So uh, I believe we were somewhere around here. Yeah. Oh, you can hear it. So it is a tiny petting zoo um, with obviously like these animals, which in reality you probably could pet. Um, but I, those were like the only animals that you can pet in the reindeers perhaps. And then on the other side, we have our Arctic wolves which you obviously can't pet, like that's incredibly dangerous. But these are uh, tame ones, so you can pet these. And they won't escape, you know, in, even though they could technically just go over there, they won't do that here. So um, it's completely safe. So they have this uh, amazing 
Oh, I felt they were floating, but they're there on the street. Uh, they have this amazing cave system, which I actually really love. And then with the uh, foliage here, and I have to say, I'm really proud of my foliage work. Oh, I'm in the Christmas tree. I'm really proud of my foliage work. And then here, this water feature as well. And I used here the little ice ones just to make sure, you know, that it looks like the water is actually frozen. Because you can see that sometimes, you know, when you're um, in snow and then you're like, oh, there's a little bit of ice on it. You can actually see it just like that. So I really love the way that that's incorporated. And let me just quickly screenshot this, okay? Because I absolutely love this and I feel like this could be a thumbnail. There, I love that. You can walk now. I absolutely love this water feature. I'm really proud of it. I have this, I'm so proud of it. I'm proud of this entire habitat as well. I mean, let's just turn off uh, the snow for a bit so you can actually see what it looks like when it's completely see. You can already see it start to melt a little bit. So obviously I put some down some heaters uh, so the guests won't get like freezing. And what I did in this habitat, I made sure that there's actually uh, snow on some areas but also um, that there's like green. And the reason I did the snow is because, you know, they're Arctic wolves, so they're gonna need some snow. They live in the Arctic. And then underneath here is actually green. We'll circle back to that once it's actually a little bit melted. Same for them, you know, a lot of bit, a little bit of snow, but also a lot of not snow. Uh, here you have one of my famous water features. And the snow leopard, there's one there, and I believe there's one in the back. I'm just really sure. Anyways, they have this really big habitat, and again, um, they really can't get over here, which is really quite special. I didn't know that, but they actually can't get over there. So here again, with a little bit of frozen water still, a little bit of ice. I really wish that you could put like the ice around this log. I haven't quite figured out how to do that in a pretty way, but okay. So we found one, but I wonder where the other is. There's one, two... Oh, there's a baby! That's cute. Two babies! No, I didn't even know they had cups. That's so cute. Yeah, and they have this little bit of a climbing area where they can just walk on top. So they can walk here. I don't know if you can hear these noises, but they're really cute. So they can walk there. Now they can walk down again. They have this little bit of shelter because I do like giving the animals the privacy that they deserve. So this one is just chilling here in the back. Not quite sure uh, if he's ever gonna go to the front again, but okay. See, this is what I meant with the mossy rocks, just a little bit random in between. Really like it. I can see it starts to melt here already. So then if we continue, we have the bison or the American bison habitat. And here's just a little bit of staffing and fence stuff. I do love all these benches. We're in really an Arctic theme. So um, here we have the American bison again with the lovely rock works, which I really dig. I have to say. Ah, oh, it's sleeping. That's so cute. I feel like I need to screenshot everything because this is just incredibly cute. <laughs> yeah, and they have this really big shelter which um, all these lights hand placed. It was really annoying, but I succeeded in it and that's what's important. So we have this bison habitat, which I believe is one of the larger habitats. Uh, in total, there are one, two, three, four, five, six animals in here, and then a monorail. And this is actually like a way to get them across and to get the keepers across mostly, because obviously the bisons can just go through the water, but the keepers can't or they won't. So, and again, lovely waterfall, really dig it. And uh, as I can see, it the guests like it as well. I mean, this guy loves it so much; he's standing on the bench. And on this side, we have some vending machines, some he more heaters. You know, you can actually have this lovely view here. I really like that. I love this map. And then we have this water feature, which is uh, on the opposite side of the staff area. And there's the doll sheep. Now, I didn't want to do another uh, habitat in here because we have quite a tiny space. Plus, I feel like uh, sometimes it's nice to have some open space with some water and some plants. So here we have the penguin habitat. Now, the penguin habitat is quite large but I really like it. And we put this fake snow here to make sure like it's really Arctic, even though when it's, you know, summer, I mean like it's 19 degrees. Oh no, it's starting to rain. I don't want rain. Uh, give me normal weather. So um, even though when it's like starts to rain or the sun is shining, you can still have like the illusion of snow, which I really like. 
Now I just kind of you know, float right in here. So I have this little ice palace. I may or may not have been watching Frozen or you know, listening to the soundtrack of Frozen when I built this. So I, maybe that's why I was inspired by using a lot of ice rocks. Look at him walking. It's cute. I was hoping he was just going to splash into it. Oh. Um, so yeah, I, perhaps I was watching Frozen while they're creating this. They have like an entire gang, don't they? They're just standing here like, hello. I feel excluded. It's not nice. This one. Oh, it's a baby! I thought it was an ugly brown one, but that's a baby. Cute. So, uh, underwater as well, they have like some underwater plants. I didn't want to do too much because, you know, like it's underwater. And they have some feeder here so they can actually swim. And then, you know, they have some eyes. And I wanted to make it look like there was snow like splashing towards this, you know, with the wind if like, uh, how do you call it? Downs? No, that's a Dutch word, I don't know. You know, really nice. All right, let's go back to here because we actually have an upstairs, which is all uh, decorated, by the way. I'm really proud of that. It looks really nice, even if I say so myself. And then we get to the shops and the shops all have a complete facade. You know, you have the hats, fantastic. Monsieur Frites and the coffee, um, the coffee thing. Yeah. <laughs> You have this open uh, roof here, so you can actually see all the beams, which I really dig. And it's completely again, you know, with the fake snow and all the lights. I really love it. And then here you have this little plaza where you can sit and relax against some vending machines. Oh, you just walk right through it. But you also have the monorail. So this monorail, um, because we have like an Arctic theme, I wanted to have like a candy cane motif on it. And it goes all across the zoo. Um, but you know what let's just i'm not gonna sit in a right right now we're just gonna go oh no it's going through the tree i didn't notice that oh no so here i mean look at this view that you have here that's just amazing but also the view of the habitat you can see all around let's just see if we can catch up and you go over the grizzly bear habitat which we will be having a closer look at in a few minutes and then you go yeah i built this custom supports yeah just bragging and i'm back to the penguin where you can see them really good i absolutely love it you can see the underwater feature here as well which is really nice and then you go over the reindeer habitat and you can just see them walking and walking really and playing lying down and then you go like next to this tiny well not tiny next to this house and then you go over the uh, polar wolf. You see what I mean with the grass? Like you have snow, then you have some grass. So this really feature comes, it's, it's, just, it's just really nice. Now you don't go across the snow leopards and the bison, so you really have to walk there, but you do come across the tall sheep. And the reason I didn't want to do the snow leopards and the bison because I felt like it would be too much. And then here you have this lovely roof. And then you can get out and this is like all you know placed with ivy which you guys can see and i just i can't wait to show you guys this at night because it's really pretty custom trees by the way just just so you guys know so prepare for something amazing so here we have the grizzly bear habitat again with the eyes it's just a, just a theme okay i was clearly listening to frozen perhaps even watching it but don't judge me what's this oh that's one of the um, enrichment items. I was like, what the heck? It's smoking though. Is that good? I have no clue. There was a bear. Yeah, there's a bear. Also, these bears, you know, they won't do anything. You can just pet them. They're really tame. No worries about that. <laughs> so we have one bear there and then another one here. And they have this entire uh, habitat all the way to the back, which they don't really use, but they can go here. You know, this little privacy cave. Some coolers and some termites. You know, snowball, everything they would possibly need, they have it. So I really dig it. And then obviously, oh, what's in the water? It's so nice. So obviously, um, here we have like a food place. So it will be a little bit more bare because they walk here a lot, I imagined. And then we already have the final habitat, which is the. Uh, reindeer habitat. Oh, I forgot to say, I want to say penguin, but we have already done that. So, um, this habitat, um, 
I didn't particularly like it. Apparently other people love this very much. I feel like it was very basic and simple. But looking at it like this, I can see why they like it. I mean, oh baby. I like the entire rip body of water just floating through all the foliage placed here. Let's just have a look at this little baby. No. Cute. You know, this is a pretty basic habitat. Just some trees thrown about, some logs, a little bit of snow. Nothing special, really. But what is nice about this habitat, what I really like, is um, in here, you can actually go in there. So that's the habitat to the uh, reindeer, to the reindeer. When you go in here, it's cold for once, but also two more exhibits. Um, if we won't spend too much time on you can actually look outside and you can see all the reindeer so that's what i really love about this one i'm just like wow you can really see them and here are their sleeping areas and they're oh look they're too sleeping and then on here you have a little bit of uh, scenery with you know a reindeer some trees stuff like that and then here we have this one final feature of the wolves which is absolutely amazing and i love the arctic wolves i love wolves in general so That's really just amazing for me. Ah, I love wolves. Anyways, guys, okay, let me. Ooh, and the giant penguin, by the way. I'm proud of this as well. Let me just show you guys uh, at night. Look. This is so nice lit up in the inside as well. I mean, look at here, look. So pretty. And then here you have this big Christmas tree. And then you have the cave and then we have my custom trees you know custom christmas trees with the stars on top of it i really really love it and then here as well this is all a custom place to give the end of the zoo but also here the sh their shelter all custom really really love it and here you know every single corner bit has lights on it so that's you not know, cool and then the penguin habitat have like uh, one tree and then one tree above which I actually really dig because, you know, every tree, every habitat has at least one tree. These have like three. These have a little bit more too, you know. And this is all the way from the top. Also, you know, the little stars, which also, you know, give a reflective light on the penguin habitat. So it's not too much. And I really dig it. And I hope you guys did as well because, you know, um, this is the end of the zoo. It was a mini zoo. And um, Mini is really quite mini. I mean, look, this was the surface that we had. It is quite small. And I really, really liked it. I mean, I love building it. It was a challenge. Usually I build very big and uh, large things, and now I couldn't. So gave me a challenge good food to think. I was even thinking perhaps I could even build a zoo, you know, half of this. But whatever. That's for uh, another time. That's not for now. For now, guys, uh, that's the zoo tour, and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have zoos that you want me to tour, you can uh, post it in my Discord. There is a link down below. And I will hope to see you on the next episode. Bye, guys.